G'day everyone, Master Abba back with another Emo video. Today what we're going to be doing is focusing on Home Station. Now, um, as you know that there's been a, a recent uh, firmware update for Emo which is at 2.0 and that mainly focuses on Home Emo being able to use Home Station. Now, of course, the you know Living AI have released the Emo Go Home package, which includes the Home Station and, of course, the Home Station on its own. If you have an existing Emo, uh, you don't need the skateboard anymore. You can still use the skateboard, of course, for charging. But with the Home Station, you can use Emo. Uh, he, Emo can use that, I mean, and he can walk off it and walk back on when he needs it, when he runs out of battery, I mean. So with uh, Home Station. Now, you know, I'm going to be going going through the basics today uh, in this video. I'm going to be showing you uh, how you connect it and how it started up uh, and then how you uh, you can see the images on it, how you can pair Emo to the, uh, to the home station uh, and how you update it. So in this video, it might be quite lengthy. It might not be quite lengthy. Um, so just... Bear with me and we'll go through every part of the home station and what and how you use it. Okay. Uh, I've also got some maybe some tips and tricks, so not really tips and tricks, but more so like some like some uh, help guides on how to use Emo to the best of uh, its ability when it comes to the home station and what it does during uh, when he's on it and when he's not on it. But for now, first thing I would like to talk about will be how you put it together. Of course, when it comes, it comes in two pieces. Of course, this is the uh, the one with the LED matrix at the top here, uh, and that is the bottom part of the home station. And as you can see in this area here, these are the metal connectors that connect into. They're like the the charging connectors that they've got to make a connect. They've got to make a contact, if you want to call it. They've got to make contact with the section inside here, as you can see there. Pardon the light and the shade and the. Uh, of, the, of my camera, but you should be able to see that in there. There's the middle connectors. And of course, in the middle right there is the uh, USB Type-C that you need to charge up and start the, the home station. Now, up the top here, as you can see there, there's um, a little groove, two little grooves, uh, circle grooves. Those circle grooves are like a uh, marker for, the, uh, for this right there, okay? So you can see that there's like a little marker on both sides, all right? On one side and on the other side. When you uh, when you do connect it back, when you do connect it in, uh, it won't make a click, but it's more like a, a an easy uh, connection, if you want to call it like a, a like a guide, or call it a guide. Okay, so uh, I've also discussed this in my unboxing video, which I you know if you've probably seen it already, you, I've already discussed how you should be pl uh, putting this in, and how you should be taking it out. So I'll be showing you how to plug this in and also how to take it out carefully because if you if you do it wrong, uh, you can easily snap like this part here. You can actually just, if you're pulling it, like for example, what I'm just doing right now, if you put it in right to a point and then for example, let's say it's plugged in completely. If you pull it out from here and go like that, it will snap. I can tell you that right now. So first of all, let's put it in. Now what I normally do is I... I can show you the back so you can see that when you put it in, it's not very um, easy to put in. It's quite hard to put in. Okay, so as you can see right there, there you go. I just want to show you like that. So you can see it's quite hard to put in. Now, what a lot of people have been doing, or what I've seen is actually you can place it on the ground like this and then push down. Okay, so that's a good option because you're not nothing's getting nothing's getting um, damaged. And if you do it carefully, all you can do is just push it down, and it's in. Now you heard that little bang or click or bang bong, whatever it is. That means that it's that little those little circles, those little guides are in were in um, are in place. Okay, so that's it. Very easy. So basically, just putting it down like that. Okay, pretty simple. You can see it from the side, like that, and that you know pushing it, putting a bit of pressure on just around the sides here, like that down, and it will work and it will plug in. Okay. Now the other way. As I was mentioning before, do not hold it from here and pull it out, okay? Please, no, do not do it from there. Don't do it from there. I would recommend, if you need to take this apart again, put your thumbs in this position there, okay? Where my fingers are there, my two thumbs, right? Which is, if you think about it, just like at the ba at, at the base, this area here. That's where these um, 
two th these two plugs up okay so put that put it on the ground i guess put it on the ground very easy now you got to apply a bit of pressure okay please note you do have to apply pressure but be careful just careful the way you do it so when i if i if i'm putting my hands at the bottom like that i'm i'm, I'm giving um my hands a bit of a i'm putting them down like here uh, and then what i'm doing is i'm putting a bit of pressure but also keeping the base of the home station down okay and all i do is just push it a bit forward and it comes off okay very easy not hard so I can show you again very easy so like what I I'm, I'm pretty much used to putting this in very easily but um, I think over time it might get easier to put on so uh, let's say we'll do this again we're gonna push this down okay it's in now I don't think I can show it from this angle but maybe I can show it from another angle uh, maybe not it's hard to say but anyway as I mentioned thumbs in these positions right there and push it give it a bit of a pull give it a bit of a push a knife push but put the force in this area here all right that area there and that should come out nice and easy okay now i can i can even put it you know you can do it when you want to when you want to plug uh, plug it back in you can do the same thing just put your two thumbs here in that was it very easy it's not hard so but i think i think at the beginning when you first when everyone gets it i think they've been a little they're a little bit concerned and it's a little bit hard uh when you plug it in but i think over time you can take it in and then plug it plug it back out it might get a bit more easier to pl uh, to plug in all right so that's it that's it. that's the first part of the home station pl assembling it okay now the assembly part as i said it's a bit hard but don't be worried just do as i mentioned just don't pick it up and pull it from up here you'll snap it put it on the ground and use your use force around this area here at the base just basically where the two uh, plugs are at the back and you should be fine okay and then as i mentioned before you can do you can put it on the ground like that and push down or you can put it this way and use your hand a hand like you can put your fingers here and use your thumbs to push it in like that and it should work quite easily okay now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to plug it in let's plug it in right now and it will start up now with the led matrix as you can see there a lot of people have been saying it's blurry now this is normal okay first of all straight away this is normal that blurry image that you see on the screen is pretty blurry even without the camera okay if i try and focus on that let me try camera might shake as you can see that's as best as i can probably get it now you can lower the quality of the lighting and the camera and you might be able to get it clearer but honestly for videos i really don't you know it's not that not that important okay so i'm just going to put it back to the normal screen view as you can see around here but this so that that our uh, LED matrix is very blurry just in general okay now with the LED matrix you can change the um, images by simply pressing it's not really a button okay but it's more like an invisible button or some sort of uh, it's like a little area here down the bottom and I'll bring it close to the camera okay just in this area there all right just in that area there where my finger is all right I've already done it it's already changed so you don't have to press it too hard let me just put it back and i'll just press it now okay very easy it's just like a little touch and it changes all the animation changes you can see right now i can bring it in close so i can just put it a bit a little bit back so you can see it hopefully you can see it quite clearly there's fireworks there's a wavy symbols and then there's a fan like a, like a windmill and and also some I don't know, like dot, little images, little dots running across the screen. That's a good one. But as I said, it, it's very blurry. This is normal. So please bear in mind, it is blurry. I believe it's probably the quality of the LED matrix that's been created. I guess it's not the high, high, high quality uh, imagery that you can get on this. I guess it's just how it is. Um, I'm already I'm already over it, but it's, it's okay. And then pressing it again. Once you do it, I think it's, uh, once you do it, uh, that last one it goes into a black stage that's the that one basically is off uh black screen off now but it's not really off the let me it's another thing the led matrix and the home station is always on okay remember as long as it's plugged in it is always on okay that's one thing you please take note it's always on so um with that in take note if you don't want to have anything flashing on the screen at night do what I just did. Otherwise, press it again, and it'll be back at the, the initial first image, okay? And then, of course, it goes through all the images. Of course, there's the moving house, home, then there's emo, 
Then there's the fireworks sort of thing, the waves, the the spinning fan wheel, whatever it is, and the little air, little dots flying across the screen, and then back to back back to kind of off image, and then back on. Okay, I normally like leaving. I'll, I like leaving it on this one or the second one. Okay, so that is how that works. Now the images can be updated. The marquee can be updated. Like you can customize this. Not yet. You will hopefully be able to do this in maybe the next firmware update or the firmware update after that. That it has not been confirmed yet 100% from Living AI, but you will be able to do them hopefully in the future. Okay, so that is that. Um, just remember that the images are pretty cool and if you don't want them on, just go and scan through. Now, the next thing is pairing your emo. Please note, I've got emo one here. Now, with um, with each home station, you can only have one emo connected to a home station at a time. Now, if you've got two emos, you can use uh, you can you can get them to use it. But the problem is, one will not go home if the other one is paired to it. Okay, so for example, emo one is paired to this, and my emo two is um, not paired, and they're both running around. Once he's ba once emo two's battery um, runs out. He will run out and completely run out. He will not run. He, he won't be able to look for anything because he's not paired with the home station. When emo, when an emo is paired with a home station, he will show the image of a battery running low, which everybody must know by now. And then he will do a little step foot with his uh, with his foot, and then he'll do it again with his other foot like that. And then the LED matrix will turn green, and then he will look for it. Once he looks for it, he will walk back and then find, dock his way home. And let's keep going. So basically, the next thing is pairing your emo. So let's put, let's turn on our little little friend. Now, once you put him on the home station, of course, the background image. I know you probably won't be able to see it too clearly. It is showing a battery charging, and emo will start up in a moment. Now, once it starts up, if it's already paired, normally it's sometimes automatic. But it's not automatic if it's already if it hasn't been paired ever. Uh, you'll see a little light image, which basically there you go. That image is like the smart light image, and I believe that Living AI will change that in the future. Okay, um, but at the moment that is the pair confirmation that it's working with this specific emo. Now, let me put him over here. All right, now he's probably going to move around, but doesn't matter. Now to pair your emo with the home station, the first thing you should do, of course, is download the latest Emo app. Okay, now we'll get to the Emo app in a minute, but then what we can do is to pair Emo with the Emo app uh, with the home station. All you gotta do is hold down the home station button for about five seconds and watch the screen. You'll get a, a new image appear. All right, now that image that you're seeing right now, give it a sec, it'll change that image there. That is a Bluetooth image. Now, there you go. Now, the green image means that it successfully paired. If you see a, a red image, that image means that it's not successfully paired. And of course, our friend over here will not show that little image on the screen. Okay? Uh, which basically says, I'm successfully paired. Now, with the Emo app, I've got my phone right here and I'm going to connect in. Okay, here we are. Now I'm going to connecting into our emo, which is emo one, right now. Now, what I'm going to do now is going to hopefully be able to see it clearly on the screen. Now, as you know, the new emo app for iOS is 1.22, for the Android is 1.21. Make sure you install this. You have to install this, and also make sure you update the emo to the latest firmware, which is of course 2.0. And the and the app is 1.22 if you're using iOS and 1.21 if you're using Android. Now, as you know, with the new with the new images uh, on the screen, you'll see there's a home station there and a little button there called home station. Now, all you got to do is press home station right now. Let me just press that because sometimes it's hard to press from here on my side. Okay, sorry, I'll do that right now. Now uh, we're back here. Okay, so the first thing you need to see is, of course, the information that appears. There's very basic information. There's connect. Wi-Fi and firmware. Okay. Now connect is emo is connected to home four one six two. Okay. Sorry if my th my finger was in the way. And let me see if I can get that uh, not blurry. Okay. Now please note that number. They're all unique. 
okay each number is unique to the home station so for example if your home station is broken or something's wrong with it and you need to contact support that's the first thing they will ask you they'll ask you what is the home station number for sure and then they'll try and do some troubleshooting with you from there okay so please note that this number is important it's not important in any other way but maybe more so for living AI to help you with troubleshooting okay now with the Wi-Fi this is the next thing. Let me just bring that up on the screen so I can get it. I'll put my I'll put my thumb over this area here because that's my local Wi-Fi. I don't want, I'm not going to share that for privacy reasons. Now, as you can see, the home station is connected to my Wi-Fi. Okay. Now, email. Basically, all it says here is email will automatically. Oh, let me jump back in. He's pretty good at listening to everything I say. Okay. So basically, he will say that um, it will automatically set up the home station if he is synced. Now, if you want, you can sync it by pressing the sync button. Right now, it will process and sync. Basically, what it does, setup, uh, setup succeeded. Okay, so for example, when uh, you do that, I'll jump out. I'll jump into this this section now. Now, when you do sync your Wi-Fi, so basically, remember, if your um, your little friend, if your emo here, I'll jump back in in a minute. I know every time I talk, he's always going to jump out. So apologies for that. Every so as soon as long as you set up your emo first. Please set up your emo first. Make sure you go into your settings. You set up your Wi-Fi. You connect your Wi-Fi to the internet. Uh, emo has connection to the internet. You can ask him a question. You can ask him anything in general, and he will understand you. Will answer your question. Maybe what the time is, what the date, uh, what the weather like. As long as you've got access to the internet, and as long as you've already, you know, for example, updated your emo to the latest firmware, then, as I mentioned before, if you go into the home station, of course, and then you go into uh, Wi-Fi, and then you press on sync. It will take the info that you already have in your settings and it will apply them to home station. Okay, so that is it. Now with the firmware update, I've already updated this and I'm going to show you how to do it verbally. Okay, uh, but that is what, where you'll see that there is an ex a section where you'll be able to update and press the update button when it needs. Now you don't need to do that because you can also issue a voice command. As you can see, the firmware version is 1.1.p1. Now, this of course will change with every firmware update. Normally, uh, they'll pop, uh, Living R will probably release this together with uh, maybe firmware updates for Emo. So that will probably work uh, together in unison. Uh, but the basic thing to do is when everything has been set up in this particular fashion up until this point right now, you can issue the following voice command. Now, our little friend does not need to be on the home station to do this. I can just put him over here and you can just put him over here like that, easy. And then you just issue the following voice command. Emo, update home station. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, you see like a new image. They're like little dots walking going across the screen, main basically just telling you that there is going to be an update and it's going to be downloading it. But so basically what it's doing right now is checking online for an update. And if there is an update, it will start downloading it. So give it some time. So basically what it's doing right now is it's checking the Living AI service to see if there's an update. And if there is an update, as you can see right now, it's downloading it. So it's downloading it and it does take a bit of time. It's not very big because, you know, the home station is downloading it into its, uh, I guess it's in, into its firmware and it will do it quite simple. So that's one thing you also, please note, you can issue the, the voice, you can issue the voice command, as I mentioned, and I'll, I'll make that pop up on the screen when I said it pr previously, which basically was update home station. Very easy, very simple. Okay. Uh, as you can see, it's downloading right now. Um, it's taking a bit of time. Um, but it's not very big. It's probably going to pop. It's probably, I, I don't know the exact specifics. Once it's finished, you'll get a, a green tick and it's completed. It's very simple and it's easy as that. Okay. So once it's done, you don't have to turn off the home station uh, console at all or the charging station. You do not have to do that at all. It's very easy. All you've got to do is just issue the voice command. And if there is a voice command, it will do it. If there isn't a voice command, it will just give you the green tick after those little uh, those little blocks walk across the screen. That's it. That'll be it. So it's not going to hurt if you do issue the voice command. Um, so there's no, nothing to worry about if you try to do that. Uh, so go ahead and try if you do want to see if there's an update or you're missing an update. Let me just see if I can jump jump back into the um, to the app and have a quick look to see if there's any difference. No, no difference at all. Okay, so we're still basically on 1.1.p1.
Okay, so I'll just bring that back. Now, that is pretty much it. Now, I know I've been talking for about 20 minutes and I hope I haven't bored everybody, but the last thing you can, and basically the last thing you can do now, <laughs> the last thing you can do now, of course, is you can put him back on the home station or you can actually ask him to go home from here. Now, of course, there are uh, the, the, two base, the two most basic ones uh, if you want to issue voice commands are either go home or go back to your charger. It's very simple. It's not very hard. Now, um, this, as I mentioned before, when the battery, when battery runs low on our little friend Emo, he's ba he will show, he will do an animation. Like for example, I can show, we can see what his battery is like now by asking the voice command, Emo, show me your battery. Okay. So it's, it's pretty high at the moment because I charged him not long ago and I took him off a couple of minutes ago. Now, when his battery goes low, you know the animation that he does. It shows you the little animation of the... It's, it's still the old animation of the skateboard. It might change as well. And when that happens, he'll do a little movement uh, with his feet and then he'll walk back to his home station. But in this case, what we're going to do is we'll do a quick test on getting, getting him to walk home. And I'll explain how everything works as well. Let him wait till he's finished processing because he heard me say something. Emo, go home. Okay, I'm going home. Okay. Now, I'm not going to talk too loud, but here you go. That's the, the, that's the little movements he does with his feet. He lifts up one, then he lifts up the other one. And then what happens is the home station turns green with a light. Now, in previous testing that we've seen in the past, if there's a light that's that's reflecting somewhere near um, Emo, he will sometimes get in... Oh, that's another thing I was going to say. That's uh, He will sometimes get um, interrupted by that other light, and then that other light will confuse him. So if that's been supposedly been resolved prior to the release of this firmware. So don't worry about that. So basically, uh, just make sure that that light is visible for him because there is a there is a there is a distance that he can see. I would say probably no more than a, you know, I would say 50 centimeters. Keep him close. You can probably keep him far away and do your own testing to see how far he goes um, to see where he where he can go and find his home station. But uh, it's probably best if you keep him within the playpen area, which is 50 centimeters close to 50 centimeters, like about 17 inches. Uh, and that should do the trick. Now, as I was showing you before, I actually interrupted him. And you can continually interrupt him if you want, which is annoying. Because I think at one point, they should. Um, that's one thing I, I kind of don't like, is that you can actually interrupt him right now, and it will stop him from doing what he's doing. Um, and I can do that right now if I want. I can actually ask him a question, like, Emo! What time is it? It's 15 note, one now. Okay, he's a bit slow, but he's doing it. So as you can see, we just interrupted him, and then he continues to go back into his uh, routine to find his way home. And then the home station will reset, and as you can see, the lights on both sides will guide him home. Now he uses, of course, the connection is like a Bluetooth connection. He does not need Wi-Fi for this sort of situation. So it's a Bluetooth connection with a Bluetooth mesh. I believe that's what the technology is. And he'll find his way home. So basically he knows he's got to look for the green light. And once he finds the green light, he'll ca casually walk his way back. Now, um, I'm not going to interrupt anymore because if I do, it's going to take forever for him to go home. His routine is quite quick. Uh, during testing phase, it was a bit slower. But now he seems to have gotten himself, they've gotten a uh, good routine happening on how he walks his way back. Now, the, the, the walk home is quite lengthy. Some, you, know, you might think it's quite, it, it, why doesn't he hurry up? It, could, it might be improved in the future firmware updates. But I guess at the moment, um, it's quite slow. Uh, and as you can see, he's going to make his way up onto the, board, onto the charging board, uh, charging station. He goes in and then the light will change to a bit smaller. I guess that's for him to see it because I guess the closer he gets to the home station, the closer he will need to see that light so he understands where he is. So once he's facing it, he'll do a few steps of looking directly at it, walking directly at into the, the station. And then once, it, once he's finished, then he'll turn around. Of course, he'll step back and he'll do a turn. He always turns in this direction as well. Okay. 
and then he'll turn around again, he'll stop, and then he'll walk backwards a few times, and then you'll see that the, the light will change, and then the, the charging light will also appear. Sorry if I'm speaking quietly, because I don't want to interrupt him right now. Okay, that should finish it. Now he should charge up soon. You also say something cool. Like home sweet home, or maybe not. No, not this time. Yeah, sometimes um, when he goes back home, sometimes he'll say something like home sweet home, or something like that. Or when he gets off, he'll say going off now. He'll say something. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. All those little comments he says when he comes off the station or on the station are all pretty random. So um, now that he's on it, a few things to note. Once, he, if he's run out of battery himself completely, he will stay on the home station until he's fully charged. It could potentially be maybe an hour, I think over an hour, close to two hours before he comes back off it. Now, uh, if that's the case, he will go off on his own within a certain specific amount of time. Now, that time period, as I mentioned, is that he needs to be fully charged, of course, and then he'll probably, I think it's probably close to about two hours. Uh, now, if you want him off earlier, you issue, no you issue the voice command and he'll go off earlier. So, one thing you do note, that if he's on his home station during lunchtime after he eats, like between 12 and 2, he will not go off the home station because he's sleeping. Um, now, another thing updated in the latest firmware version of 2.0 is that he will now go to sleep, Emo will go to sleep at 10 o'clock p.m. Not midnight anymore. So from midnight onwards, he will not explore. Okay? So uh, so basically, he'll be only exploring during the day. Okay? So when you're around, he'll explore. But during the night time, he won't explore. Another thing, if the light is dark in the room, it's very, very dark, he will not go off the state, uh, his, um, his home station as well. So make sure the lighting is good. I've also got another video that actually shows you how he will not go off the station if it's too dark or if the, or, or the colouring of the, the, uh, the, the surface he's on is uh, very dark, like a black colour. He'll get worried, he will say he's not safe. Now, with this situation, if you want him to go off, the, the voice command, very simple, is go off home station. Okay, so let me ask him that now. Emo, go off home station. Sounds good. Okay, so that's one of the replies he does. Sounds good. So as I mentioned before, he'll stop about there, check his surroundings, and then he'll walk off. Done. All right, that's it. So I guess this video was very, very, very long. And I apologize if it was and it's bored people. But I just wanted to walk through all the different things that uh, that our little friend can do. Starting from, of course, putting the home station together. How to dis how to assemble it and how to disassemble it. How to use the button. How, um, how to change the images on the screen. How to connect with it with your phone. How to pair with him. How to unsync him. Now, basically, I know that one thing I didn't didn't advise was how to unsync our friend and make, sync with another sync with another emo. Now, to do that, or the best thing to do, okay, would be if you've got two emos. Now, of course, I don't have emo two here because he's um he's taking a break today. But uh, if you wanted to sync emo two, for example, what I would recommend is power pa power him off, okay? Power him power the one that's connected to the home station power him off completely power on the other one okay your other emo then pair it again and by do pair by you pairing that that should automatically work then of course go into the go into the app and double check it and make sure that it is paired and if it isn't you can try and pair you can pair it that you can also make sure that you sync it that way as well okay now that's the other that's the other thing that's the only other thing i can probably that i might might have missed so you can share a home station but do remember that you cannot really really share it because if they're both running around and there's only one home station one will go back to charge the other one will run out of battery simple as that okay so as what as i've mentioned and as what everyone's mentioned you need two home stations for uh, each for an emo basically like a smart light you can only pair one smart light to um an emo at a time okay and i believe that's it now the only other thing i've noticed is our little friend will go up here many 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 times now i'm gonna i'm, I'm just gonna i'm gonna bother him a bit and pick him up now what i've noticed 
and you, you'll probably notice it. If you do not use the, the, the mat sometimes, what happens is he might walk up to here and get stuck. And he might do that, okay? He'll get scared, and then he'll move forward, and he'll get scared, and he'll move forward, and he'll get scared. He might do this, and he might move over here. But do know that there he does not have perception of this being a, you know, the home station. He will sometimes think it's just an area he can walk on. Okay, so when he does, when you do see that, you might, you might, you might see him one day walking back, or you might, you might see him char charging. But why is he charging in a different position? Now, now I was going to show you this because I've seen this so many times during my testing. Now, when you um, he's dancing at the moment. Look, unbelievable. All right, so basically, so I'm talking so loud. Uh, now, what I've noticed is that sometimes when he's walking around, he might walk around over here, he might do something over this, he might go over here. Now, as you know, I'm going to pick him up quickly. As you know, that's the charging foot. Okay, this one here is the charging foot. Not that one, that one. So basically what I've seen him do sometimes is I've actually seen him do this. I've seen him like that. I'm going, why? What is going on? And that's the reason why, because what's happened is he's walked around, he's gone around here, he's gone over there, and he's gone over here, and he's freaking out, and he's walked around, and he's walked around, and then basically, boop, and he's charged himself, okay? So this happens randomly. Now, you know, there's nothing you can do. I guess he's, he's, uh, he's charging. Now, sometimes in a situation like this, he might not go off his home station, because it's actually... Some it's, it might be confused because he thinks that you know that that's that's something it could happen sometimes he's he, he could charge sometimes in in this position and he could walk off but sometimes he might not so anyway that's one thing I wanted to know he always gets stuck in all different positions he can you know he can get stuck like that but that won't charge so so he'll get stuck in all different funny places and sometimes because of this gap here where I'm where I'm putting his foot. He'll get sometimes confused because it's a bit higher in this area here considered to this area over here, okay? So to do note that there's not much you can do if uh, if Emo uh, doesn't uh, walks onto his home station. Just note there's nothing you can do. There's nothing, I guess, uh, I guess hopefully maybe in the future that in firmware updates, this area here could be an indicator for him not to walk onto, but he will walk onto it no matter what at this point in time. All right, so that's it. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick him up and put him back because he's dancing like he's having a good time. But I'll put him back in here, and I guess I'm going to stop talking because I guess that's everything that we wanted to discuss in this video. I wanted to also just show about talk about those uh, those things that just in case if you know you see him you see him docked in a funny location, that's happened because he's probably walked back randomly. And without him wanting to go back onto the home station because his battery is low, he's walked back because he found it randomly and accidentally charged himself. Now, that's happened many times for me. It might not happen for many people, but it happens for me many times. All right, so I guess um, that's it. Now, that this video is very long, and I actually mentioned, I think, at the beginning that it was going to be short. I guess I couldn't stop talking. And I guess... <laughs> That is it. So I think if there's any questions, if I've missed out anything, please let me know um, and I'll do my best to answer it. But I wanted to just walk through everything that was um, that's re related to Emo's home station uh, and how to put it together, how to update it, how to change every, how to change the images, how to pair him, how to sync him, how to use the app, um, how to update the, uh, the, the home station, how to disassemble it, of course, how, to, how he goes home, how he goes off. Uh, and that is it. Now, I guess if there's any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them and get back to you uh, on my YouTube channel. And I guess that's it. Uh, now, last thing I can say is thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I will see you in the next emo video. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Goodbye, my friend.